Okay, um, I actually anticipated with COVID there would be a slowdown in recruitment, but what I've seen during the last 18 months is actually, um, it's actually very, very busy when it comes to recruitment because there's a lot of changes that is happening in, in the market. Um, there is a lot of vacancies out there and there's also high competition. So the biggest challenge I've seen during that last 18 months happened to be the competition uh, for good talent. Yes, there are uh, people out there, but are they the right fit for that new normal organization? And therefore, uh, finding those right talent uh, has been difficult. Um, second is that we as HR folk will have to change the way we've been doing things. I mean, we are so traditional in certain aspects of recruitment and we've actually had to forget about policies, processes, and fine tuning to make it a lot more effective, uh, not just for uh, the company, but also for the candidates who are being interviewed and, and so on. So yes, so for me, uh, competition out there in the market for good talent, and of course, we're looking at our policies, processes to make it much more effective. Um, okay, so um, there's the, pos the positives of uh, the, the pandemic, if I may say, um, is that I think for the first time, managers have realized engagement is no more an HR thing. Um, and the only way we can keep our people engaged is for our managers, our line managers, and those people who are working with teams to take an active role in engagement. Um, engagement has also changed drastically. No more is it about all the nice, fun things, but it, it's basic stuff that may, we may not have even really, really looked at in the past. Um, so first and foremost, uh, there were three things that I learned during the last year, in the last few months, uh, what has worked for us. And one is actually a supportive management style. Um, yes, overnight we went into lockdown situations, working from home, uh, manufacturing the factory running 24 seven and majority of the workforce the management staff not being that ground. Um, so uh, the, the first thing that as managers we learned was that, okay, fine, what makes sense for our employees, be supportive, um, encourage the effort that is put in and actually start thanking and actually giving them credit for things that are getting done. Um, so that is one. Um, the second is always look at the environment because work-life balance as well as um, the work environment matters because, okay, yes, people are working from home. Um, that doesn't mean work environment, work-life balance is ignored. So everything has changed because overnight, People who are used to coming to work, doing that eight, 10 hours at office, and then going home, and then you know compartmentalizing themselves, and all of a sudden found themselves at home, having to juggle families. I mean, even the single, uh, those without family, uh, families, children ended up having to be babysitting everything from pets, street name it what, um, and and therefore they they lost. The, the conducive work environment they had. So I think as managers, we've had to realize these people are juggling. Uh, they're juggling that home hat as well as the um, employee hat. And therefore we have to be a lot more understanding. Um, and then of course, um, the, the second one is that for, I think, line managers to understand people do need that work life. So, you know, crazy hours meetings is not allowed. Um, the last one for me is, I think, trust, building that trust, because a lot of the times people will not see their supervisors, their bosses and their managers and the leadership. And therefore, it's very, very important in such a difficult environment for our teams to have trust in us. And that is a huge impact on people's morale as well as engagement. And therefore, from my point of view, regular open communication is the only thing that's the only thing that's going to build and earn that trust. And of course, transparency. Transparency is vital because unregular communication would actually help 
uh, building that trust. So it's simple things, um, I think, it's, but it has to be done by all, not just human resources, but actually the line, the supervisors. And these are things that you would normally do, just that we don't maybe really identify as key engagement leaders, but this has now come forward as a vital engagement.